dream. You are falling, lost in the listening distance, as dark locks in. <gasps> Nightfall. Good evening. Tonight we have a special homecoming prepared for you. The play is called How Did You Get My Name? <laughs> so I left the car right in this front lot and said, The hell with it. <laughs> what can he do to me now? <laughs> Well, I'll say one thing, Larry. You haven't lost your style. Well, I figured if his police force kept giving me tickets, I may as well give him the car. <laughs> <laughs> Vancouver was no doubt sorry to see you go. Well, Toronto's more my style anyway. Style? This looks just like Granville Street, hookers, winos, and strip joints. Yeah, you should have seen it before they cleaned it up. <laughs> <laughs> Look out! Jeez. My God, they hit the pole. We'd better get out. No, they're okay. Larry, you cut them off. They were in the wrong goddamn lane. But shouldn't we There's go back? There's nothing we can do here. Look, Jim, you've been through enough without something like this. Now, come on. Cops will be here in a couple of minutes. Who needs it? Let's watch it on the news. You're bound to shake you up a little. Give yourself a little time. Yeah. Did I, uh, overreact? Well, I, I'm I don't want to say. This is important, did I? Well, Jim, lighten up. I mean, if a guy who spent four years in a straitjacket, you handled it great. I wasn't in a straitjacket. Okay, a cummerbund, or whatever you guys wear in those European hospitals. <laughs> He's up on the jokes, will you? A lot of times I wondered if I'd ever come back. Well, after a while, everyone figured you were dead. Except me. Thanks. What made you so sure I was still alive? Mm, gut feeling, I guess. I, I figured if I kept sending letters and phoning around, sooner or later I'd find you. Must have been... expensive. Where'd you get the money? I robbed a bank. <laughs> Just kidding. It was a gas station. Larry, you haven't lost your style. Okay, here we are. Oh, great. What's up? Stay in the car. What? Why? You, know, you see that guy with the dog? He's my landlord. He lives next door. I gave him a bum check last week, and uh, I'd rather not run into him just now. Well, careful, don't let him see ya. Now who's overreacting? Look, I'm not kidding. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm sorry about this. I'll straighten it out tomorrow. Oh, good, he's gone. Okay. Uh, here's the key. And, uh, go inside and check it out. I'll get your bags out of the trunk. Larry? Yeah? Should we synchronize our watches? <laughs> Just get moving. <laughs> right. Should I get that? Larry? For crying out loud. Jim? Jim Brent? Hello? Is this Mr. Brent? Well, yes. Who's this? Uh, my name isn't important. How did you get my name? Uh, you were in the computer. But my house. What do you want? We'd like to know whether you've ever been involved in a serious accident. Who are you? We just want you to answer a few questions. How did you find me? The computer, sir. Now, have you ever been involved in a serious... No. No accidents. Do you have a criminal record? What? 
No, I don't... Have you ever been treated for mental illness? Mental illness? How did you find out... Give me that that receiver! What's going on? Come on, man, give yourself a shake. I'm sorry to cut you off, but you were freaking out. Who was that? I don't know. But he knew my name. He called me by my name. What? He called me by my name. And... Well, he even knew I'd been sick. Slow down, Jimmy. He he called you by name. Yeah. Oh, you must have misunderstood. Uh, nobody knows you're even in the country. You must have heard wrong. I tell you, I heard my name. He even seemed to know about the accident. Accident? The car accident, the one we just saw. Okay, Jim, what exactly did he say? Uh, I, I don't know. He asked me some questions. Oh, what's happening? Jim, this is your old buddy Larry talking. You've been through a lot. It's been a long day, and you're tired. You made a mistake, so forget it. But... Well, I, I guess you're right. I did it again, huh? Overboard, I mean. Well, you had me worried there for a minute. Now, why don't you get some sleep? Sorry. Um, stick with me, will you? You'll see. I'm not crazy anymore. I know that. You're the only one that seems worried about it. I'm grateful, Larry. I want you to know that. Jim, you don't have to go into this. But I want you to know. Even before I left for Europe, I felt... I don't know. Isolated. But over there, I felt more isolated than before. That's why I broke down. Your letter gave me strength. Made me feel I belong somewhere. Come on, kid. It was just the ladder. But it gave me the courage to become Jim Brandt again. Stick with me, huh? Come on. Let's get you unpacked. You up yet? Oh, barely. You want some coffee? I've got the kettle on. Yeah, good idea. Maybe some breakfast too, huh? Well, let's not push it. My stomach isn't awake yet. Uh, got any cigarettes on you? Nope. Oh, wait, I, I think there's, uh, there's some in the top drawer. Take a look, will you? Yeah, sure. Were you afraid of me coming here, Larry? What? Did you think I was going to attack you? What are you talking? <laughs> oh, the gun. It's loaded, too. Yeah, sorry. I, I forgot it was there. I uh, I won in a poker game a couple of months ago. I, uh, I probably should have locked it away with the sharp object, huh? Very funny. Here's your cigarettes and your lighter and your socks and okay, your shoes. Okay, okay, okay. Can't you take a joke? You know me. Sick joke's a specialty. All right. How about that coffee? Or do you trust me with a hot kettle? I don't know. The way you reacted to that phone call last night. <laughs> yeah, I guess I was a bit jumpy. I'll make the coffee. And I'll be down in a minute. <clears throat> Looks like a nice day. God, I slept like a log. Larry, where's the coffee? Larry? What? The coffee! Middle cupboard! Larry, the mail's here. Mail? I'm just leaving. I'll get it later. It's okay. I got it. I put it on your desk. Okay. Jim Brent? What's this? Get that thing off the heat, will you? What? Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, oh, okay. Larry, get down here, will you? Ow. I knew something weird's going on here. 
Larry! I'm in the living room, Jim. Look at this. What? They're all addressed to me. Jesus H. Christ. Well, here, look. Not again. Well? Jim, stop it. These are just bills. Bills? What do you mean? Give them to me. Jim! Are you crazy? Just look at them. I'll get it. No, I'll get it. Hello. Mr. Brent? Jim Brent? Yes, this is Jim Brent. There. Are you happy now? Maybe you'd like to talk to your funny friend, Larry. Look, pal, this isn't funny anymore. Jim, hang up the telephone. And you? You're supposed to be my friend. This is a sick joke, Larry, even for you. Mr. Brent, we'd just like to ask you a couple of... There. That's what I think is your goddamn sense of humor. Man, you're really flipping out. I don't know what you're talking about, and I sure as hell don't have anything to do with it. Who the hell else knows I'm here? It's gotta be you. They never should have let you out. Why, you son of a bitch. Oh! I gotta get out of here. Yes, sir. What'll it be? Uh, sir? Hmm. Would you like something? Scotch. Okay, how do you like it? What? On the rocks? Sure. Okay. There. Uh, you all right, sir? Thanks. Um, yeah, I, I just... Plaza Bar, Steve here. Uh, who? Jim, who? Well, I, I, I don't know, I'll check. Is Jim McCullough here? Uh, Jim McCullough? Oh, sorry, lady. Okay. Oh. Bad day? Hmm? <laughs> you, you looked a little uh, spooked uh, when the phone rang. Well, I, I By the way, uh, my name's Steve. Jim. Oh, you're uh, not a regular here, are you? No. I'm out west. Vancouver. Oh. Just got here, didn't you? Something like that. Uh-huh. Live around here, eh? Mm, yeah. Whereabouts? Uh, around the corner. Don Donald. Oh, well, one of the high-rises? The house on the corner. Uh, what did you say your name was? Jim Brent. Oh, so you're Jim Brent. <laughs> uh, in uh, in kind of early, aren't you? Early? <laughs> well, Arnie doesn't take over till uh, six. <laughs> God, he's always telling me what a crazy guy you are. <laughs> I, I don't like know that you... time at the at the Brunswick. <laughs> House last year, huh? <laughs> or, oh, wait, how about that hassle you had with the Harry Krishna? Oh, boy, hey, you're right out of your mind. I think you got the wrong guy. What? You, you did say you're Jim Bread, didn't you? Yeah. Br yeah, from Vancouver? Huh? And you live around the corner? Well, yeah, but I think you've mixed me up with somebody else. I've never been here before. What? Hey, oh, that's strange. How can there be... Oh, <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. Never been here before. No. Oh, God. You really had me going there for a while. You really are crazy. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Look, yeah. uh, how much do I owe you? Uh, oh, terrific. I left my wallet back at the house. No, 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 no problem. I'll put it on your tab. Uh, well, sure. Look, I've got to get going. Uh, Jim? Yeah. Jim Brent. I thought it was you. Hey, watch out. <laughs> He'll probably deny it. <laughs> what a guy. Crazy. Jim. <laughs> Don't you remember me? Danny. Danny Davidson. Danny? <laughs> Danny Davidson, of course. What are you doing here? <laughs> I know, I know. I said I'd never leave the coast. But they made me national sales manager. Well, what's with you? Didn't you go to Europe? Uh... Yeah, but I got sick and it took me a while to get over it. Uh, I got back yesterday, as a matter of fact. No kidding. Say, I was up in Vancouver a couple of weeks ago. 
<laughs> you wouldn't recognize the old neighborhood. It's all rooming houses. Of course, most of the old gang's still out there. I guess you heard about Larry. Larry? Collins. You two were pretty close, weren't you? Of course, it was no surprise. I mean, the way the guy drove, he was bound to get it eventually. Still, he was a crazy guy. Lots of laughs. What are you talking about? I'm sorry. I guess you didn't know. It must have been about a year after you left. His car went off Burnaby Mountain, burst into flames. Never had a chance. What are you telling me? Larry's dead? I'm afraid so. But he can't be dead. It's impossible. He can't be. Damn it, you gotta be here. Larry, you up here? There's gotta be something. All right, Larry, it's all over. I found your wallet. All right, see. Driver's license. Oh, my God, no. Pretty good, Larry. You thought of everything, didn't you? Except the phone book. You couldn't have changed the phone book. Collins, Collins, Collins. Wait a second. Jim Brent. Well done, Donald. Have I been dreaming? Living in this house all along? The doctors, the hospital, hallucination? No, no it, it couldn't be. Larry, Larry, please, God, Larry, where are you? You've got to be here. I'm here, Jim. Larry, my God, what's going on? I was about to ask you the same question. You okay? How did they get my name? The mail, the telephone book, the phone calls. What are you talking about? Oh, for God's sake, I've never been here before, but it's like I've been living here for years. Hey, 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 slow down a sec. What do you mean, like you've been living here for years? Well, all the mail's for me, the phone calls, my name's in the book. So? So. All right. All right, Larry. Now, this is going to seem like a strange question, but... Where are we? Where are we? Why, uh, we're at your house, Toronto, Ontario, Canada, North America, planet Earth. My house? Where do you live? Jim, I live in Vancouver. Remember, you picked me up at the airport last night? But what are you doing here? I came to visit you. Jim, you've been acting very strangely. Look, at, I've got the kettle on. Why don't I make some coffee? Sure. Okay. Where do you keep the coffee? Middle cupboard. Jim? The middle cupboard. Looks like a nice day. God, I slept like a lot. Want some breakfast? Jim? Take the kettle off the heat, will you, Larry? I'll get it. Hello? Yeah. All right. 
No, I don't think so. Put down the phone, Larry. It's for you, Jim. I was just taking a message. I said hang it up. Okay, okay. What the hell are you doing with that? Under the circumstances, I don't want to take any chances. I'll feel a lot better with a gun in my hand. Hang it up. Jim, are you crazy? Put that thing down. Get the coffee. Sh sure, Jim. Sure. I'd feel a lot more comfortable if you'd put that gun down. Larry, do you remember a guy named Danny Davidson? Danny Davidson? Yeah, sure. Uh, he went to school with us, so we keep in touch. Oh. You keep in touch, eh? Mm-hmm. What's he been doing these days? Uh, he's uh, still in the Army. A, a sergeant, I think. You're lying. Lying? Hey, why would I, I lie? I ran into him today. What? Yeah. At the Plaza Bar, you know it? No, I don't Danny know the Danny said bars. you in a car accident. He said you were dead. One lump or two. Black's fine. The way I figure it, Larry Collins is already dead. So it won't matter if he dies here in my kitchen. And let's face it, Larry, someone in my state of mind could do almost anything. Here's your coffee. Why, Larry? You don't have to know that. Listen, there's a hundred grand in it for you if you just get out of town. God damn it, Larry. I want an explanation. Okay, okay. Take it easy. See, right after you disappeared, I made a lot of money on a dope deal. Big money. But things got complicated and I got burned. A, a guy crossed me at the last minute. It was either him or me. Then I got scared. I mean, I'd done a lot of crazy things before, but I never wasted anyone. Then I thought of you. Seemed like the perfect scam since everybody thought you were dead. So I planted my ID on this guy's body and set up the accident. <laughs> you should have seen it. It looked like an A-bomb. No way anyone could identify that body. So uh, Larry Collins died in a Vancouver car crash and Jim Brent was reborn in Toronto. That's right, Jim boy. I've been living your life for the past three years. Of course. Of course. That accounts for everything. The phone book, the mail, the bartender at the plaza. But who made those phone calls? I don't know, but anyone phoning here would be asking for Jim Brent. Hey, uh... How about putting that gun down, huh? I don't think so, Larry. Tell me, why did you bring me back? I was no threat where I was. But I didn't know where you were. See, everybody thought you were dead, but I couldn't afford to go with that. I had to know for sure. Every morning I wondered, will this be the day I run into him? Oh, Christ, I thought I saw you a million times uh, on a bus in the street in a bar somewhere in my nightmares. So I just kept sending letters and making phone calls till I found you. Alive. I couldn't believe it. Lucky Larry. So you brought me here to keep an eye on me. Well, yeah. But I had to keep you under wraps till I figured out what to do. I thought we could work something out. But once you got here, I realized you weren't in any shape to handle it. Um, I think I need some more of that coffee. So you were going to kill me? No. No, Jim. I'm not a murderer. What about the guy in Vancouver? Well, that was different. Besides, once you got here, he acted so wingy, I thought you might... I, I thought... That, with a little help, I might do the job for you? Something like that. You bastard. And if that didn't work? No. Then I'd have to take matters into my own hands. Ah! My eyes! My eyes!
Hello? Mr. Brent? No. Who's calling, please? Uh, well, may I leave a message? This is Lieutenant McGraw. Who's calling, please? I represent Dominion Insurance Group. Uh, we're doing a survey, and I just wanted to ask him some questions. I'm sorry. Mr. Brent won't be answering any questions. Well, Lieutenant, uh, uh, we can't seem to get anything out of him. What's it look like? I don't know. Uh, he must have surprised him during the burglary. What about the suspect? He's not making much sense. Uh, could be drugs. How did you get my name? It's on the letter and the phone book. It's my name. It's my name. Who is he, anyway? Don't know. He had no ID. No ID? Okay. Let's book him on a John Doe. You have just heard How Did You Get My Name by Don Dickinson and Alan Gutman. Featured tonight were Gordon Thompson as Jim Brent and John Stocker as Larry Collins. August Schellenberg was heard as Danny Davidson with David Hughes as Steve, the bartender, Sandy Webster as Lieutenant McGraw, and Robin McCulloch as the police constable. The telephone solicitor was the voice of the late Don Mason. Our recording engineer tonight is Jan Wright, and sound effects are by Matt Wilcott, with the production assistance of Doris Buchanan. Nightfall is produced and directed for CBC Radio by Bill Howell.